role in the fourth quarter? Yeah, they I mean, definitely played a role. Uh, I thought we, uh, you know, we made that great push in the third, and, and uh, but we weren't really able to uh, to make uh, any subs. We were going well, so we didn't want to disrupt our, our rhythm. But uh, our normal sub pattern obviously was uh, skewed anyway with Andre's absence. But uh, I felt like in the fourth quarter, you know, we just ran out of gas. We scored 12 points. Uh, tried to buy a little bit of rest. For, uh, for our guys, but um, yeah, they, they just outplayed us in the fourth and they earned it. Anthony Slater with the Athletic. Uh, what was kind of your vantage point on that final scramble play when Katie's pushing it up court and, and did you ever think of taking a timeout when Clay was trapped? Yeah, I didn't. Well, I, I, I wanted the timeout. Uh, Draymond was trying to call in around you know four seconds once he got trapped, and at that point, the officials weren't looking. Uh, they're not going to look down at, my, at, at our bench, so I'm. I saw Draymond trying to call it, and I was hoping they'd give it to us, but uh, you know, we didn't get it. But I, I'm, I'm always uh, a proponent of uh, pushing the ball off of a miss rather than taking a timeout and letting the defense get set up. So I thought we would get a better shot in transition. That's why I uh, let him play. Hey, Duncan, Dunked on Podcast. Coach, you rotated through that fifth spot quite a few times in the fourth quarter, going from Bell to Looney, back to Bell, then Looney, and finally Livingston for the last. 40 seconds. What was your thought process as you were kind of rotating those guys in now? Well, we're, we're uh, you know we're trying to get stops. Obviously, um, biggest thing is uh, you know get a defensive stop and then we can run. And so Looney and, and Jordan Bell are our most mobile uh, bigs, uh, along with Draymond. So we we're kind of going back and forth between the two of them. Uh, so that we could continue to, to get stops, and uh, but we just couldn't score at the other end. Steve, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Um, Draymond and Kevin both played uh, minutes highs for the season and the playoffs tonight. The 12 points and the fatigue in the fourth quarter, what exactly did you see that, that made you realize you guys were out of gas? Uh, just fatigue, just, you know, we, uh, you know, we, you just said it. Just, um, we scored 12 points, so it's not like we were getting great shots either. So you know, this was uh, this game was it was sort of trench warfare. You know, it was just uh, everybody grinding it out, a uh, lot of isolation. I, I guess this is the modern NBA. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, the only way you can do this and uh, and win is you have to have uh, great one-on-one -on -one players. You're going to have great defenders, two-way guys, and uh, and we do, and they do, and so it just becomes a. Uh, a one-on-one -on -one battle with all the switching, and uh, they did a great job of it, and uh, we give them credit. Steve, straight ahead, Bill Barber, Santa Rosa Press, Democrat, a uh, few rows back, straight ahead. Um, you referred to Iguodala as your, your babysitter. Were there some times tonight when you could have used his stabilizing influence on the court? Oh, of course, of course, but, you know, he didn't, he didn't play, so it didn't matter. Um, I just, I felt like early in the game, um, we had a chance to really uh, makes it hay, and uh, I think it was 12 nothing, and uh, we started turning it over and fouling, and uh, that was it was disappointing because I felt like we could have really stretched the lead, and uh, we we sent them to the line over and over again in that first half, the second quarter especially, and uh, and a lot of turnovers, 10 turnovers in the first half, and uh, I thought that allowed them to hang around, and then. They got their confidence, made a lot of free throws, got the lead at halftime, and then it was a slog from there. Steve Mark, Medina Bay Area News Group. Regarding the, the fatigue thing, how much do you think that also applied to Steph's disparity with the shooting in the third and the fourth? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, it's tough out there. I mean, they shot 39%. We shot 39%. So um, it's not like uh, in a game like that. Anybody was out there lighting it up. Chris Paul had some big ones, obviously, in the fourth quarter. Uh, but you know, we uh, we did some good things defensively. We just uh, we got to do better offensively. You took Cal Comedy Athletic over here, over here. You did play Steph, Kevin, Clay, and Draymond the entire third quarter, and you said they were going well. Did you know when they were doing it? Okay. Of what am I going to do in the fourth quarter here when you're playing all those guys? Yeah, the yeah, we knew we were just going to try to buy two minutes each for uh, Kevin and Steph and Clay. Um, 
And uh, we actually tried to make a sub uh, with uh, about two minutes left. We sent Sean and Nick up there, and uh, but there was no stoppage, and I didn't want to use a timeout. I had always already used my extra timeout, so we let the fourth play out, and you know we were in great shape going in, or the third, I should say. We let the third play out, and we were in great shape with a ten-point lead, um, but couldn't uh, couldn't finish it. Commander, when you get a team starts off like this, twelve nothing. And I mean, is there any danger that they they get a little too confident, relax at all? All of a sudden, it looks like oh, the, the, the Warriors are going to run away, and they don't. Well, that's why I called the timeout. You know, it was uh, it was twelve nothing, and uh, we committed a careless turnover. So I called the timeout to uh, make sure we were locked in and focused. And, uh, but they, uh, you know, Houston did a good job of kind of hanging in there in the first quarter, and then they dominated that second quarter, and that changed the game. With the athletic, you know, we have a lot of talk about the blowing in the fourth, but how killer was the, the final maybe six minutes of the second quarter, stuck at the third foul, and they closed it? Um, yeah, yeah, that was a big stretch of the game. Uh, the foul trouble for Steph, and then the turnovers. We had, it seemed like we had about three turnovers in a row, uh, late, late second, and that really gave them a boost and, uh, and you know, changed the, the game. Um, Melissa Roland Berry, News Group. Uh, obviously, Clay returned to the game, but how's he doing? How's his knee? Uh, I think he's okay. Um, I haven't talked to him since the game ended, but uh, you know he came back out and battled, and uh, uh, he was uh, he was fighting out there. Mark Spears, the undefeated. Steve, what do you think about the, the focus overall in a game? And is this one of those things where you look back at the film and kick yourself about a lot of plays? I haven't watched the film yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure we will look at the film and, and kick ourselves, uh, but. You know, look, this is, uh, this is a great team we're playing. They won 65 games for a reason, and they played a great game. They, they, their defense and their physicality uh, made a difference, and, and they, they deserve the credit, and we got to turn around and try to play better next game. Last one for Monty. Monty from the NBC Sports Bay Area. Steve, you just mentioned their defense and their physicality. Uh, was it that much difference, different tonight than it was in the first three games? Because it looked like they really wrapped it up. Yeah, they did. They got they got better defensively. I thought, um, you know, they fought and and uh, and scrambled every play. Uh, that's why I'm, you know, I'm praising their defense, uh, praising them for their effort. You know, they they're doing all the switching, and switching can be complicated, and you've got to uh, try to force them to make some mistakes. And uh, I don't think we did a good enough job of moving and creating enough opportunities for them to make mistakes. I thought we just settled for a lot of uh, ISO at the top. And uh, we didn't make them make enough decisions defensively. Uh, so that hurt us. Thanks. Thank you. We'll have